भद्रम कर्णे भी शृणुयाम देवा भद्रम पश्येमाक्षजत्रा स्थिरंगुष्टवांसस्तनु व्यशेम देवहित यदायु स्वस्ति न इंद्रो वृद्धश्रवा स्वस्ति न पूषा विश्ववेदा स्वस्ति न स्ताक्षो अरिष्ट नेमी स्वस्ति नो बृहस्पतिर्दा ओं शांति 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 वी आर स्टडिंग अथर्वेदीय मुंडक उपनिषद विद द हेल्प ऑफ शंकराचार्य कॉमेंट्री एंड लास्ट टाइम वी रेड द फिफ्थ मंत्र ऑफ सेकंड सेक्शन ऑफ सेकंड मुंडक एंड देयर I made a slight error. I said that some new type of sadhana is being told. That was not true. That was not true. The sadhana has already been told in the first four mantras. In the first mantra, we get the nature of Brahman, its presence in our life, and. that was the first mantra and then in second mantra also the nature of atman was told and then it was said that you have to hit it that was the sadhana part and then in the third mantra that the bow is provided by upanishads and by regular practice of upasana you have to sharpen the arrow and by the mind filled with feeling about that that is the like pulling the arrow and then that very aim is brahman so hit it then in the fourth mantra what are those bows and arrows was described literally that pranodhanu onkar is the bow your self is the arrow and the target is brahman and without any slackness without any error it should be hit and like the arrow which becomes one with the target like that you should become one with it that is about the four mantra then in the fifth mantra i wrongly said last time that a new sadhana is being told no the nature is difficult to realize because it is lights in depth so the nature is being repeated again and again sadhana is the same but the nature of the atman is difficult now wherever the word <coughs> difficult appears in all our scriptures it is not a philosophical difficulty like intellectual some problem no difficult always means in depth that until we enter the depth of our personality we do not get it so because of that again the nature is described so that we will get the depth so shankar has introduced that akshara seva durlakshatva akshara sem is brahman durlakshatva because it is difficult to aim at because the akshara brahma is difficult to aim at again punarvachanam so the thing is being like repeated punarvachanam is like repetition सुलक्षणार्थम सो दैट व्हाट इज लक्षण इन वेदांत इंडिकेटेड मीनिंग थैंक यू मैम इंडिकेटेड मीनिंग सो द इंडिकेटेड मीनिंग शुड बिकम इजी टू अप्रिहेंड सो दिस स्मॉल वर्ड्स आर हैव टू अंडरस्टूड इन डेप्थ सुलक्षणार्थम फॉर द सेक दैट the lakshana the indicated meaning 
so means easily should come that is the introduction and the mantra is yasmin jau prithvi chantariksham otam mana sah pranaisya sarvai tameva ekam janath atmanam anya vacho vimunchatha amruta shesh setu thank you mas Oh, somebody speaking. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh, I understood. Okay, okay. Let us. I'm not thinking about that. Man, no, you are. You ignore that. You complete the. Mm-hmm. No screen pull. Kar do. Ah. Oh. No, no. Get rid of it. Which guy? Huh? Hmm. तुम्हारा वहां कट गया हाँ ठीक है ठीक है ओके ओके लेटर रिमेन लेटर रिमेन सो दर इज डिस्क्राइब अगेन देव हो पृथ्वी च अंतरिक्ष देव मीन्स दुर्लोक स्वर्ग लाइक और beyond the prithvi lok and prithvi prithvi lok and antariksham in the intermediary space bhurva swaha we say so bhu bhuva and swaha so all these are otam otam means in the cloth there is a thread like this and there is a thread like this so that is called ota and prota so ota means mm, all pervading ota means pervaded tasmin otam mana sah pranaisya sarva so external words are described and mind sarvai prane <clears throat> when the prane is used in plural it means organs indriyas so prana in different context has different meanings so prana he in this context mind along with the indriyas sarvai he otam so the outside world the three lokas and inner personality all are fixed there otam here means fixed there or it is pervading in that so Uh, what is being described the all pervasiveness the immanence repeating the immanence acharya says that nature is being described and we have seen that in the previous that in the previous section that after telling it is akshara and all that then nothing of the outside world was left which was not described so that it is really all pervading there is nothing else apart from that so that in short has been described now and then we are told tameva ekam janatha atmanam tameva ekam atmanam janatha that alone eva that means apramatt mind should not go here and there we know the simile i will tell two story <laughs> after teaching kauravas and pandavas dronacharya was testing them so at a long distance on a tree a bird bird of clay or whatever was kept and then dronacharya is calling one by one what do you see that tree dismissed what do you see the bird dismissed when arjuna was called what do you see i see the eye of the bird hit so that is the nature and another example is arjuna himself for draupadi swayamvar again a made up fish is hung there and below that a wheel is moving and arjuna has to see the reflection in the water and hit it and nobody else could succeed arjuna did so that is the example of tameva ekam janatha 
No, that alone. That is the meaning of alone. In Patanjali Sutras, it is called Deshavanda Chittasya Dharana. That means one spot in the body or outside. To the exclusion of all other parts, if we can able to keep the mind there, that is called dharana. And when the mind flows there, then dhyana and samadhi. So like that, the eka and for that only, previously we were told, upasa nishitam, that the arrow is sharpened by continuous practice of upasana. Always when the mind thinks of God, Sagun Barma, in any way, some form or whatever. So when the mind continuously thinks of God, then only that, that Ekagrata comes. And so with that Ekagrata, here, hitting means Janatha. We have to know. And Atmanam. So all this play is going on inside, not outside. Bow, arrow, everything is going inside. So it is, previously we were told that Tadeva Laksham, Aksharam, and now we are told Atmanam. So that very Laksha goal is our own reality. Janatha. Janatha means all this hitting and all that is change of consciousness. <laughs> Janatha is not like subject knowing the object. We are in the very beginning of Mundaka that has been described. When Shavunaka goes to Angirasa, Shavunaka due to his evolution feels that there is a common reality in the world. That much. But he does not know how to realize it and what is its nature and how to make it our, our own. So he goes to Angirasa and asks, knowing what everything becomes known. There, Angiras tells him that the knowing itself is of two kinds. There is a lower knowledge and there is a higher knowledge. Lower knowledge means a subject knowing the object. This leads to karma. But the knowledge which you are seeking of the common reality, there you have to identify itself and know it. So your knowing is not like a subject knowing the object. All this Laksha and Om and all that will make you realize your identity with that. So that is the meaning of Janatha, Atmanam. Anya Vacha Vimunchatha, it has a double meaning. Give up all other talk. That is the surface meaning. And the inner meaning is that all others are only talk. Give it up. Unreal. Vacharamanam Vikaro, we have heard in Chandogya Upanishad. All others are only modifications of your tongue. Only names. So, all others are only talk. Vacho. Vimunchata. So, give it up. This was a, last time I told you, this was a pet mantra of Mahapurush Maharaj. Always used to say, Tamay Vakam Janath Atmanam Anya Vacho Vimunchat. And he would add, all others are only talk. So, Anya Vacho Vimunchat. And then you are given a result oriented. So, we are told, Amruta Se Esha Se Tu. This is the bridge for immortality. So, that is added that if you want immortality, then this is the bridge, knowing the Atman. Now about immortality, again, immortality is not body living forever. And that is not a very happy thing. You understand? Mm -hmm. In our times, maybe 50 or 100 years before, some great people were asked, I remember one example, that is Arnold Toynbee, the great historian, that will you like to live eternally? First he said, yes, because so much research I have still to do. Then he said, but there is a problem. I have to fill the income tax returns every year. And the classic example is Ashwatthama. 
he was cursed by the lord not to die and today we say everybody if you get a find a person with dry body and hair and is asking you some oil no into your ashwatthama so a cursed life living so the goal immortality is not body living forever like to and there three four examples everybody found some difficulty there so then what is immortality the very realization that you are not the body you are not the organs you are not the mind you are not the ego which goes on changing you are the self that is satchit and ananda only automatically there is nothing to cause your death death is destruction of the body but you are not the body so you do not die but this is a fact of realization it is not some theory only we see in shri ram krishna's disciples all of them how happily they were living and they never felt that they will die you know mahapurush maharaj was asked once how are you he said i am fine though he was suffering bodily then he said i heard that you did not sleep last three four days he said yes that is related to the body but by thakur's grace i know i am not the body so that is the consciousness so amrita se esha setu the bridge for real immortality is this knowledge of your own reality shankar says <clears throat> yasmin akshare the original mantra what is yasmin in which in which akshara brahman akshare purushe पुरुष पुरी शयनात पूर्णत्वात्वा दॅट मीन्स ही लिव्ह इन दिस बॉडी ऑर इन द होल वर्ल्ड लाईक लिव्हिंग इन अ टाऊन बट हिज परफेक्ट इन्फिनिट इन हिमसेल्फ दॅट इज कॉल्ड पुरुष पुरुष नेवर डिस्टिंग्विश बिटवीन स्त्री पुरुष द वेदिक वर्ड पुरुष नेवर डिस्टिंग्विश पुरुष इन द मेल सेन्स पुरुष इज द रियालिटी being of man so akshare purushe dev prithvi ch antariksham ch otam samarpitam shankar says otam here means dedicated to fixed into manasya sa pranay karane ranne so pranay is anney karane other organs sarvai all all means organs of knowledge organs of action all सर्वै तमेव सर्वाश्रय सो दट इज दे सपोर्ट ऑफ ऑल एकम एकम डज नॉट मीन वन अमंग्स द मेनी सो शंकर क्लॅरिफाईज एकम अद्वयम दॅट मीन्स अद्वितीयम अदर दॅन विच नथिंग एक्झिस्ट दॅट इज कॉल्ड एकम वन ओनली मीन्स that one apart from which nothing exists advitiyam janath that is vedic sanskrit according to modern sanskrit it will be janith so he shishya now janith is bahuvachan anek vachan in sanskrit we do not say anek vachan ha because dvivachan also is anek सो एक वचन द्विवचन बहुवचन सो जानीत हे शिष्य हा इट इन्वॉल्व्स द प्लुरॅलिटी ऑफ द डिसायपल्स वाय सीन दॅट दो शौनक हॅज गॉन टू अंगिरस बट ही इज टीचिंग ऑल डिसायपल्स आत्मानम आत्मानम शंकर एक्सप्रेस प्रत्यक्ष रूपम प्रति अक अक मीन्स गॉन prati means in the reverse order so atmanam always refers to pratyek atmanam inner reality the self which has gone inside now inside how much in the body 
in the indriyas, in the mind, in the buddhi. So inner, inner, inner you have to go till you get your reality. Your reality will get when nothing of you is there. As long as my reality, then it is a limited thing. So you have started to get your reality. But when this adjective my will go, then only you will get the reality. So pratyek, inmost, anir, innermost, sarupam yushma, come. Yushma, come again. That means the real nature of all of you is one only you. So you go inside, you go inside, you are not going to different places. Everybody goes inside, will go to the same reality. Advitiyam, Atmanam Pratyak Sarupam Yushmakam Sarva Praninam Cha. So Atmanam is not only your reality, reality of all of you, but reality of all beings. Yushmakam Sarva Praninam Cha Gyatva. Janatha, then after knowing what will happen, so uh, Shankar is connecting them this sentence, Annevacho Vimunchatha. So know that only, and having known, Cha Annevacho Aparavidya Rupa Vimunchatha. Others are only Aparavidya Rupa, subject knowing the object. So that is Avidya. That is ignorance, not knowledge at all. Vimunchatha, give up. Vimunchatha, there also the Vedic and the modern Sanskrit. Parityajata, give it up. Tat prakashyamcha sarvam karma. This uh, aparavidya reveals all work. Because as soon as there is a duality, there is action and reaction between the subject and the object. That is karma. So, all the tat prakashyam cha sarvam karma. This aparavidya reveals all the works. Sa sadhanam. Karma paritajata means the means of karma also you should give up. No need to earn money to do some work. So, he is reminding us of how to approach. Karma sa sadhanam. Yato because Amruta se esha se tuhu. Quoting the sentence, he explains, etad atma jnanam, this realization of the self, Amruta se Amruta tasya. Amruta se, the original is Amruta se. So Shankar says Amruta se means Amruta tasya, the state of immortality. Moksha se. So what is meant by Amruta is freedom. Prapta ye setu reva eva setu. Like a bridge, it is not a bridge actually, but like a bridge, it is a bridge. Sansara moho dade uttarana hetu tvat. Why it is called a bridge? Because the sansara, transmigratory world, is taken as a big ocean. And so to cross the ocean, we are not going through the water. There is a bridge. So, bridge is described because imagination of the sansara is an ocean. Sansara, mahodade, ocean. Uttarana hitutvat, crossing. Tathacha shurtyantaram. Same thing is told in Shatashatarupanishad. Tameva viditva ati mrityumeti. Knowing that reality alone, you become immortal. Nanya pantha vidyati ayanaya. Ayanaya means getting freedom. For that, there is no other way. Now, this no other way is not narrowness. Whatever path you are allowed to go, but you have to reach the goal where you are not separate. So, other than that, there is no way. Now, the, after telling this nature and connecting with sadhana, again the sadhana is being repeated. Ara ivana rathana bhu samvata yatra nadyaha sa esho antas charate bahudha jaya manaha 
ओम एवं ध्यायथ आत्मान स्वस्ति व पाराय तमसा परस्ता आरा इव रथ नाभो कि रथ नाभो मीन्स इन द व्हील ऑफ द चैरियट देर इज ए नेवल एंड इन दैट ऑल दी स्पोक्स आर फिक्स इवर लाइक दैट इज द एग्जाम्पल लाइक दैट ऑल दी नॉट इज नो वी आर टू पृथ्वी मना एंड ऑल दैट नो इन अवर बॉडी देर आर इन द वेदांत इट इज काउंटेड सेवंटी टू थाउजंड nerves are there that is physically carrying the blood and back but actually the sensory and the motor nerves both so they are called nadis and they are all connected with our heart actually he said they are connected with a yatra is a position so esho antasharate bhuda jayamana so in like the first mantra he is moving inside nadis are connected to the heart where the reality is moving moving like we have seen when it changes it becomes seeing hearing tasting knowing thinking all they are compared to a very living example of the knowledge reality of the consciousness just moving tilting like that अंतरते बहुधा जायमाना जायमाना मीन्स बीइंग बॉर्न इन वेरियस वेज इन साइड व्हाट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ बॉर्न फीलिंग्स आई एम हैप्पी इन संस्कृत आई एम बॉर्न हैप्पी दैट इज द सेंटेंस वी से दैट नाउ आई एम हैप्पी नाउ आई एम मिजरेबल इन संस्कृत इट विल बी now i am born as happy now i am born as miserable because that is a fresh life every time so in this way he is there previously we were told here also antas charate that is our perceptions and bahuda jayamana is connected with all our feelings and how to Huh. that means dhyayatha so hitting and all that means dhyayatha what is meditation repeating the same feeling again and again that is dhyayat one feeling comes it goes away but the next feeling like should be like first feeling that becomes meditation and with the help of om we we should discuss om also at this point <clears throat> what is om did it really in one of the classes no <clears throat> what is this world brahman appearing through names and forms no forms are continuously changing no form is fixed then how do we feel that it is real any form because brahman is real but we feel the form to be separately real you are real he are real how we feel that have you thought any time we see it again and again same one mouse pinda came out of the mother's womb and it is changing every day but people said you are ram you became ram and in people's mind also you are ram understood simply because there is a name the world appears to be separately real the forms which are ever changing appear to be separately real than the brahman only because a name has been attached to them in chandog this was explained nicely like that uh, vacho so now what is the name name is a combination of some sounds and in sanskrit every sound has a meaning now what are the sounds 
the first sound is a uh. that means sound is produced somewhere here and it comes out let it come out as it is produced so that is a uh. now we want a sound what are all other sounds 50 or whatever they are the sound which is coming out is made to touch somewhere in the sound box and touch in different ways so so is touching the teeth and then it comes out then mahapran the soft touch the mahapran soft touch is the and through the nose if it comes it is no so touch in a place with different styles that is all the words now the question is we want the sound to come out after touching every point in the sound box how will it be o it will appear strange how kakha are included in o but when we understand kakha are nothing but touches we want a sound which touches the whole sound box every point of the sound box so it is the rolling sound o when you say o the sound is touching everywhere and coming out then how the sound process ends when we close the lips mm. so o u and m mm. so what is the meaning of om if every sound has some meaning the om would mean the entire world the entire world samashti of all the varieties of the world but that is stool meaning the sages tell us that om is a philosophy om is a knowledge just now i seen that om teaches us that the world is nothing but sound it appears real because of the reality at the back so om first meaning is all the sounds but that is rejected the first meaning of om is saguna brahman that means brahman as the background or reality of the entire world no suppose that has come in our consciousness and when the mind enters into it there is no world at all so that is nirguna brahma so om is the nearest non specific name of both saguna and nirguna brahma that is om and that is started by upanishad that is why Uh, it said that upanishadam more so om iti evam dhyanavatha iti means you have to repeat that om mentally patanjali will say tad japas tadartha bhavanam that means concentrate on the meaning of om what is the meaning of om saguna nirguna brahma according to the capacity of man he ends in saguna brahma or nirguna brahma so om is both so om iti evam dhyayata om iti means with the help of om or uttering om mentally one should meditate so this makes the mind fixed all others are sounds so it means brahman so mind becomes fixed on god by uttering the word om that was the meaning of up till now hitting and all that dhyayata atmanam and you are meditating upon your own reality then angiras is adding something all the shishas are there so is blessing them by the blessing of the guru you are proceeding swasti va paraya tamasa parastad you are going beyond darkness darkness is this agyanam you are going beyond darkness you are going to the light reality and swasti va paraya swasti means may you safely reach the upper shore may you safely cross the ocean reach the other shore that he is blessing them 
tamasa parasta, to cross this ocean of darkness. Shankar is telling here, kimcha means, and more than the fifth mantra, ara iva, yatha ratan abo samarpita ara, as the spokes are dedicated to, embedded into that nabhi, evam samvata sampravishta yatra, where they are all fixed, yasmindri daye, so where? In the heart. Sarvato Dehu Apino Nadya, all the nerves which are throughout the body, which pervade the all the body. Tasmin Ridaye, Buddhi Prate Sakshi Bhuta. Buddhi means our consciousness. Now it has different perceptions. But there is somebody who is the witness of all the perceptions. This, that is how the Brahman is thought. That means, I see you. If I close my eyes, I, I do not see you. But I know that I see you. This is Buddhi Pratya Sakshi. Buddhi Pratya is I see you. And the witness is the knowledge that I see you. If I close my eyes, I do not see you but I know that I do not see you. So this knowledge element is called buddhi pratyaya sakshi. That is the nature of my Atman. Buddhi pratyaya sakshi bhuta sa esha prakruta atma. Prakruta means it is the context of Atman which is going on, that is prakruta. Prakruta means that of which the context is the Atma. Antar madhya charate. Antar, antar here means inside, antar, madde. Word is antar, Shankar's meaning is madde. Charate is that atmanebadi. But according to Sanskrit rules, it will be charati. Vartate, charate means it exists there. Pashyan, Shrunvan, Manvano, Vijanan. So he is seeing, hearing, thinking, knowing, perceiving, that is called charate. Bahuda jayamana. Bahuda means anekadha in so many ways. Krodha harshadi pratyayir jayamana. So the feeling of anger, joy and all that is, it is born like. Antakkarana upadi anuvidayitva. Because upadi, upadi I have defined. Upadi is that which is not your real nature, but appears as your real nature is called upadi. So antakkarana upadi, your heart feeling is the upadi. Anuvidhayitva. So because of the consciousness of Brahman only we feel. So it takes the form of your feeling. It as if take the form of your feeling, Vadanti Loka, and that is how people talk. Harishto Jata Kruddho Jata Iti. I have become happy, I have become angry, so this is born. How it is born in many ways that Shankar explains like that, that people feel Tam atmanam omiti evam omkara alamana santo. Omiti evam, Shankar explains, with the help of om, alambana. Alambana is the support of the mind. When it wants to cross beyond names and forms, it requires a support. So om is the support. Om is the bow by which the arrow will go. Yathokta kalpanaya. Alamana yathakta kalpanaya. That means you already given the imagery that it is the bow and arrow. So with that idea, Om is the help. Dhyata, chintayata, think of it. Uktam vaktavyam cha shishya bhaya acharena janata. Uktam vaktavyam cha. 
the teacher has said shankar says all teachers should tell janata acharya if atma acharya is a man of knowledge he should say like this shishyasya brahma vidya vidishutvat and the shishyas are keen to know brahman brahman vividisha that means desire to know nivrutta karmano so they are beyond the duality of action moksha pathe pravrutta and they are proceeding on the path of freedom they are the shishya so adhikari shishya are described like this anybody the guru does not bless him like that when he sees that they are gone beyond karma and they are seeking only atman then he gives this blessing should give tesham nirvignataya brahma pratim ashasti acharya so without any further obstacle they should get brahman so he is blessing them swasti nirvignam astu swasti means without any hindrance you may proceed वो युष्माक पाराय परकुलाय परसत परकुलाय मीन्स बियॉन्ड वॉट परसत कस्मा अविद्या तमसा दी अविद्या इज दी डार्कनेस बियॉन्ड दैट यू शूड गो दैट वॉज ओशन नाउ इट इज अविद्या अविद्या रहित ब्रह्मात्म स्वरूप गमनाय इतर्था अवर नॉलेज ऑफ ब्रह्मन इज ऑलवेज दैट मिक्स विथ अवर रॉन्ग नॉलेज so we should get free from the wrong knowledge and know the brahman in reality that is the meaning of acharya's blessing <coughs> now something more in the same way yes sarvagya sarvavid आशेष महिमा भुवि दिव्य ब्रह्मपुरे ही एश व्योमि आत्मा प्रतिष्ठिता मनोमय प्राण शरीर नेता प्रतिष्ठित अन्न हृदय सन्निधा तद विज्ञान परिपश्य धीर आनंद अमृत यद विभाति सो द लोकेशन इज बीइंग डिस्क्राइब दैट ऑल दिस इज हैपनिंग इन द हार्ट Now, what is the heart? Many people confuse heart and mind. Mind connects us with the outside world, and heart is the location where we will feel our own reality. So we say the uh, Lord or the Prabhu sits in the heart. So heart is the location where we realize our real nature so we have to withdraw ourselves and go to the heart that is being described here yo aso shankar is introducing this yo aso tamasa parasat sansara modadim tirtha gantavya paravidya vishayiti sat kasmin vartate itihah that about which we have sought that beyond this ocean of sansara which is the subject of paravidya sakasmin vartate in which it remains that is being told now his description is yas sarva yas sarvagya sarvavit apparently same meaning but different Sarvagya means he knows all, and in general, Sarva means Sarva Vid means he knows all particulars. So God knows all in general. God knows that the world is unreal; it is my own creation. That is knowledge in general, but God knows every particular vibration of our mind. That is Sarva Vid. so it raises a devotion along with that knowledge i'll tell you some funny story 
well, personally, it, I was warden in Nagpur for eight years. Now, there was a boy who thought that he is perfect. So, if any mistake happens, he would say, by mistake, that mistake happened. Now, once he entered the bathroom and there was unluckily pencil in his pocket. So, he wrote something on the wall. Now, when he came out, other boys entered and they saw. So, they understood this was written. They caught him and they are telling, come to the warden and confess. Otherwise, you will be punished badly. He says, how will the warden will know? When I have written with closed doors, the boy said, they have some faith. We don't know, but God tells the warden. Then he said, how God will know if I return closed doors? They said, we cannot reply. And they brought him to me. And they said, this is his question. I said, where you are written? On the wall. You are written on the face of God. You will not know. And before writing, the thought came in your mind. That God knows. So both the reality of the subject and of the object is God only. So how is the question that you are close the door or open the door? <laughs> you understood? So that is Sarvavit. That God knows every vibration of our mind. Nothing is unknown. We may hidingly do something, but God knows it. Asya Esha Mahima Bhui. Bhui is earth or world. What is the world? It is his glory. That means he is beyond everything, he is everything. That is his glory. But where he lives? That is the question now. Sarvadna Sarvavid and the whole world is his glory. Divya Brahma Pure. In the divine, that means heart. He is not a part of the body. Heart is the Divya. Brahmapuram is the town of Brahman. So it is the location of Brahman. And it is divine. Vyomni in the space. Atma Pratishtita. Now space is of three types. In outside world, we cannot see anything unless we see it in space. So that is called Mahakash or Matakash. When we imagine objects in our mind, there is a mental space in which you are imagining. So that is called Chittakash. Now when we are perceiving God, God himself is that space, but we are habituated to call some space. And that is called Divya Brahma Pure Vyomni. In the space, in the divine abode of Brahman. That is how it is described. So that means we have to withdraw our mind and take it to the heart. Pratishrita. There it is established. You will meet him there. Now, how it functions, how will you reach the heart? Manomaya, whatever your mind is doing, it is he through the mind is doing. So, he is Manomaya, that means with the mind. He is with the mind. Whatever your mind is doing, it is he is doing through the mind. Prana Sharira Neta. In the end of life, the subtle body is taken by the prana outside. So it is he who is going. He takes the, he makes the prana lead and he goes. So prana by himself cannot go. So he is being described as he is working through your mind and at the end of that, he will make the prana lead you somewhere. Pratishtito Anna. Anna means 
body. Body is created out of food, Annamai Kosh. So, he is established in the body. Ridayam Sannidhaya. Where we have to find him in the body? He has made Riday is about. So, very near or inside the Ridaya in this body. That is his location. Tad Vigyanayana. Vigyana always means experiential knowledge. So, by experiencing him that, Paripashyanti Dhira. Pari Pashyanti means perceiving, Paripashyanti means seeing from all sides, and it is not objective seeing. So, Paripashyanti, that means they know him well through experience. Through experience, they know him well. And how they know? Ananda Rupam. His nature is bliss. That is how they will know it. Amrutam, an immortal, yad vivati, shining there, shining there and full of bliss. That means consciousness and bliss. <clears throat> now, we, were, we are told to meditate on the Ishtam as luminous and blissful. So that is the way that he is there always, ananda rupam and shining. So that is how the process has been told in a different way by setting the look. Here the important point is the location. Shankar says, yes, sarvadnya sarvavid vakhyata. So this expression has already come and Shankar has explained it there. Sarvagya sarvavid, Shankar says, I already commented. Tampunar Vishinashti and himself is again being given some more adjectives. Yasya Esha Prasiddho Mahima Vibhuti, of which this glory is known. Koso Mahima Yasya Ime Deva Prithivyo Shasane Vidrute Tishtata. He is quoting from Brethren Ekopanishad, Shankar. In the Brethren Ekopanishad, <coughs> Gargi is asking Yajna Can you tell us about Brahman? Now, if he tells, then he is telling something which cannot be told. If he does not tell, then he does not know. So he avoids both these mistakes by telling, the norse of Brahman say that. And 19 negative he gives. Asthulumananu arasvamadirgam, 19 negatives. And that should not produce the idea that he is zero. So he says that it is under his rule that the rivers are flowing. It is under this rule that man gets the karma fall. It is under its rule that the mountains are standing. Like that it is. That is being quoted here. Mahima. Dhyava Prithivo. That means the sky and the earth is stable under his rule. Surya Chandra Maso, Yasya Shasane, Alata Chakravat Ajasram Brahmata. Alata Chakra, a lighted circle. So Surya and Chandra are lighted circle and they are continuously moving under his rule. Yasya Shasane, Sarita Sagrascha, so Gocharam Nati Kramanti. So this poetic like description is to say that he is more than positive. It is under his rule, he is Ishwara. The same Brahman which is 90 negatives is the Ishwara who controls this world. Under his rule, everything is happening in the world. So the Rivers and the oceans do not go beyond their limits. Tata Stavaram Jangamamcha Yasya Shasane Nitam. Stavaram means steady in one place, Jangam means moving, all they are doing under his command. Tata Cha Ritavo Ayane Abdasya Yasya Shasanam Nati Kramanti. So the season comes 
then the dakshina and uttar and parts of the ear come up the mid that ear flows all this is under his rule shankar has given all the description here that is the bhakti positive element about god tatha kartara karmani phalam cha shasanat swamsam kalam nati vartante the doers their actions and the fruits this is also under his rule they are getting swam kalam nati vartante that means when the fruit will get when they will do action all that is controlled by him sa esha mahima bhuvi so your bhuvi means earth means world and this is his glory on this world yes sir sa esha sarvagya evam ye sa esha sarvagya evam mahima evam mahima is an adjective he is the sarvagya of whose this is the glory devo he is the shining one consciousness divya dyotanavati divya means shining sarva bauddha pratyek krita dyotane brahma pure so shining means again the same thing all the perceptions of the mind he is seeing dyotane is revealing them so that is the divya ब्रह्मपुरे इन द टाउन आर प्लेस ऑफ लिविंग ऑफ ब्रह्मन ब्रह्मण अत्र चैतन्य स्वरूपेण नित्य अभिव्यक्त ब्रह्मणापुर हृदय पुंडरी कम शंकर फॉर मेडिटेशन द लोटस ऑफ दि हार्ट हियर चैतन्य स्वरूपेण एज कॉन्शियनेस नित्य अभिव्यक्त ऑलवेज ही इज देर ऑलवेज ही इज मैनिफेस्टेड देर in our heart puram place means the lotus of the heart tasmin yad vyoma tasmin vyomni akashe there what space is there that is called the akash hriday pundarika madhyaste so the space inside that lotus of the heart प्रतिष्ठित इव उपलभ्य है प्रतिष्ठित मीन्स देर इट इज एक्सपीरियंस सो इट इज लाइक लिविंग देर इज नॉट लिमिटेड बाय दैट स्पेस बट ही इज एस्टैब्लिश देर बिकॉज ही इज एक्सपीरियंस देर नई आकाशवत सर्वगत से गतिरागति प्रतिष्ठा वान्यता संभव होती ही इज ऑल परवेडिंग मोर देन दि स्पेस स्काय देन हाउ यू कैन सी इज एस्टैब्लिश देर और गोज देर और कम्स देर because his experience there sahi atma tatrasto mano vritti vir eva vibhavyate iti mano mayo mana upaditvat mind is the upadhi and so through the vibrations of the mind it is he who is shining that is called mano mayo prana sharira neta प्राणश्य शरीर च प्राण शरीर तस्म नेता स्थूला शरीर शरीरांतर प्रति सो फ्रॉम वन ग्रॉस बॉडी टू अनदर ही टेक्स विद हेल्प ऑफ प्राण प्रतिष्ठित अवस्थित अन्न भुज्यमान भुज्यमान अन्न विपरीणाम में दैट मीन्स बॉडी इज नथिंग बट दि मॉडिफाइड फॉर्म्स ऑफ फूड वी ईट प्रतिदिन उपचीयम अपचीयम च because it is proved that if we eat properly the body grows if we do not the body reduces so anna cha pinda roopa anne pinda roopa anne that is body is nothing but a pinda made of food hridayam buddhi pundarika chidre buddhi here means both it is not the rational intellect so hriday means the bodh pundarika chidre in the space hole inside that lotus sannidaya samavasthapya nicely established hriday avasanam eva hi atmana sthiti nai atmana sthiti ranne so it is said in the food so he does not say in the food he stays in that heart in the food 
तद आत्मतत्व विज्ञान विशिष्ट शास्त्राचार्य उपदेश जनित सो हाउ विल एक्सपीरियंस कम द शास्त्र विल टीच यू द गुरु विल टीच यू एंड देन विशिष्ट विज्ञान इयर मीन्स पर्टिक्युलर नॉलेज द रियल नेचर ऑफ दैट आत्मन ज्ञान शमदम ध्यान सर्व त्याग वैराग्य भूते न अलॉंग विथ दैट टीचर्स आर टीचिंग बट यू शुड हैव दीज क्वालिटीज कंट्रोल ऑफ द माइंड कंट्रोल ऑफ द बॉडी मेडिटेशन रिनाउंसिएशन ऑफ एवरीथिंग डिस्पैशन देन दिस नॉलेज विल शाइन इन यू परिपश्यंति सर्वता पूर्ण पश्यंति उपलब्धि सो फ्रॉम ऑल साइड पश्यंति मीन्स एक्सपीरियंस धीरा विवेक न the man of discrimination ananda rupam as bliss sarva anartha dukha yasak prainam so ananda rupam means all the evils and all the miseries has been finished there amrutam yad vibhati visheshena swatmani eva bhati sarvada vibhati means in the atman itself it is shine so that is the commentary of this mantra om भद्रम कर्णी भी शृणुयाम देवा भद्रम पश्येमाक्षभीजत्रा स्थिरंगुष्टवंशस्तनु भी व्यशेम देवहित यदायु स्वस्ति न इंद्रो वृद्ध श्रवा स्वस्ति न पूषा विश्वेद स्वस्ति न स्ताक्षो वरिष्ठ नेमी स्वस्ति नो बृहस्पतिर्दा ओं शाति 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 हरि ओं तत्सत श्री राम कृष्णार्पणमस्तु